Welcome back. A Utah family waiting for justice from a rape case for more than 50 years, finally getting to tell their story. As new specialist Jed Bull shows us, the Utah Department of Public Safety is now apologizing to the family for the failure of justice. This story dates back to 1968, when Valerie Clark Miller's family tells us that she was raped by three men repeatedly over the course of two years. A private investigation now backs that up. Her husband sharing their story after finally receiving acknowledgement from the state about what happened. The first savage attack took place in the loft of a neighborhood barn into which 13-year-old Valerie was lured with the expectation of seeing newborn kittens. Valerie Miller never reported the repeated rapes in 1968 because the three men, including UHP trooper Robert Dolly, threatened her. Two decades later, married with four kids, her emotional turmoil surfaced. She got counseling and reported the crime. An investigation by the Department of Public Safety in 1990 did not produce criminal charges, and the family was dejected. To Valerie, it turned out, just as Dally had told her, no one will ever believe you anyway. Valerie Miller died several years ago at age 61. But two years ago, private investigators hired by the family discovered the state had intentionally covered up the crime. A year ago, the family filed a notice of claim. They wanted an acknowledgement from the state about what had happened. Yesterday, they got that letter of apology. Valerie was a courageous woman, and uh, to finally get to the truth and the bottom of this is gratifying, and it, it provides a, a measure of healing and closure. Due to the age of the alleged crimes, the DPS cannot prove that crimes did or did not happen. But Public Safety Commissioner Jess Anderson states that the factual allegations rest on a foundation of extensive and disturbing evidence. While it unfortunately appears that there is no legal recourse that I can take to right the wrong that was done, the least I can do is to express my deep regret for the emotional distress suffered by Mrs. Miller and the family. They didn't use the word uh, uh, cover-up or obstruction of justice, but if it walks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's a duck. It's pretty clear when you read the letter that Jess Anderson and others felt terrible about the whole situation and were willing to stand up and do something about it. Robert Dolly, the former UHP trooper, died earlier this year. One of the other men is also dead, and the third man is in jail in Colorado on unrelated charges. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bowl.